Hello everyone and this is Cool Rice Bunnies with another video and I hope you guys had a happy 4th of July and if you don't live in the United States, I hope you had a happy Wednesday. Today I'm going to be doing a requested video and this was requested by Diamond Hearts. I will link her channel down below. You should check her out. She requested for me to show how I wrap my head pins. I use head pins. And I wrap them all like this. And so she kind of requested to show how I do this. These are head pins, if you guys are not familiar with them. Um, and they're just a single like wire and the bottom kind of has this little stud. And these are really nice because they completely ensure that your wire is not going to come out of your charm. So as you can see, there's the bottom of the head pin and then the rest is sticking out. I always... Um, put in the head pin before baking so this is already a baked charm this is um, Jack Skeleton from like Tim Burton and he's yet to be finished I um, make all my charms with white clay and then I just paint them but I add the head pin in before baking and this one has yet to be wrapped tools that you're going to need are a couple of different pliers you don't need all these pliers I'll explain I got this set of five pliers from my local craft store for about nine dollars and I had a 50% coupon so look into your um, craft stores they usually have like sets of different pliers that you can buy in bulk um, they aren't like the best quality but they work fine for me the pliers that you're going to need to wrap your head pins is first this one and I don't know the names of them so you're just gonna have to look and see but this one kind of has like this circularish cylindrical I'm making up words kind of shape but you can see and then you're going to need some flat head I think pliers is what they're called but they basically just clamp but either one of these would work fine this one's just kind of ridged as you can see and this one's just like a completely smooth texture um this one here is kind of like the same but it's just curved but any of these will work it doesn't matter and then last but not least you're going to need one that can clip off your excess wire so this one is just a pair of clippers to start off um, take your charm and you're going to take the first set of pliers that I showed you these and just grip it some a little bit like a centimeter above the charm and all we're going to do is bend this to the side like this and that's it you can decide how big you want this circle to be by how far you move this up your pliers because as you can see it does get thicker as you go down so we're going to take this charm, clamp the pliers as far up as I want, and it's going to wrap around this top part of my pliers. Now we're just going to take this wire and just wrap it across the top part. And I'll show you sideways. So just take this and wrap it across this top one here. You can kind of see what I just did and it's forming a nice circle. Just kind of wrap it around. You can kind of move this here so you can get it all the way around. Like this, and so you have a nice circle. Now this is where the flat pliers come in handy. And take any one of your flat ones, hold the circle like this so it does not move anywhere, and then take another set of pliers which I'm just going to take these curved ones. You can use these. It doesn't matter, but I like using my curved ones. Grip onto this metal, and we're just simply going to wrap it around the rest of the wire. Sorry if I got out of frame there. As you can see, I'm just grabbing the end of this wire and simply, literally, just wrapping it around. And as you can see, it's starting to, like, curl around it I'm sorry if I keep getting out of frame this is just a little bit difficult but um as you can see I wrapped it 
almost all the way around the charm and it is a little bent but that's fine because you can just re-bend it back into shape and then you can see that there's this little bit of excess wire right there just take your clippers and simply clip off the excess and I like to hold it so that way the excess wire is right there so there we go that's how you wrap the wire as you can see that wasn't my best work because I had to do it on camera but with practice you will get better and to ensure that let me show you this was my first ever like wire wrapping that I had to do and as you can see it's not the best it's a little crooked but then with practice you can get ones that just look very professionally well done so that was my video I hope that helped you guys um, Please comment, subscribe, rate if you like what you see. I'm up to like nine subscribers right now and I'm really excited. I got a lot of good feedback on my first video. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.